single goal in that set definitely gonna drag them down now as they're going into Heat Wave, a map that's got a lot of bush coverage and that one star, of course, in the city. We could see Gene here today, actually. We haven't seen Gene at all yet. Uh, Gene is a very, very good brawler for this map, but uh, not in this game, it seems. Yeah, early charge from B4 Esports will claim the star at the center, and just like you predicted, it's going to be the Slambulance cop here. Poco, Rosa, and BB, really heavy brawlers out in front to bash through this line of defense. Red Cannons is going to be moving in once again with a bow and a Mr. P charging at their supers right there in the center of this uh map but using those robo porters crucially to clear out the bushes out the left side really big uh, tactical advantage now for the red cannons even though they're behind in stars it's gonna be hard for b4 esports to get a clear line of fire gotta say i really like this pick the spo pick from parcival we've seen bow being played uh, more today than i think we did at all yesterday um and uh this is a great brawler here because the mines will break the the bush uh, and and adinho playing rosa is going to struggle when those bushes start to deteriorate so um uh, the gadget as well is providing a lot of value for his team and they all have super right now on the red cannon side of things who had dinner in a lot of trouble got stunned by that mine and another one explodes taking Din down that's going to be a star lead now for the red cannons a quick charge out from beto is that going to be enough to get the kill no parzival's defense will hold on yeah, before Esports being very aggressive, and I think they're not really in the position to do that, especially now with a four-star lead to Red Cannons, and everyone again has super, and this is a really gnarly position for before Esports. The beat is doing his best, but every swipe that he misses will take away that batting star uh, power, batting stance star power that he's running. Beto beaten back by the Red Cannons, a squad that has just had so much synergy in the second and the third sets now, not giving a single inch to a B4 squad that seemed ascendant out the first set. This defense from Red Cannons is holding on strong, and with that totem down, charging up their supers, they are returning fire as about as strong as you can expect. B4 Esports makes one more desperate play, charging into the enemy spawn zone, but there's plenty of room to retreat here for head overall on the leaderboard. They're in second place right now, and they're not going to go down without a fight. The change up in their brawler comp here might be just what they need. Picking Barley this time, Tufa is going to lose that first star in the center to the Red Cannons, but will get a bit different uh, of an angle now, trying to fire away at a Red Cannon squad that hasn't yet been able to set up in game number two. Well, Kadu going with uh, Gale this time around, and we saw Gale being played on this map to perfection yesterday. So the question is now, can Tufa use that uh, the range and the map disadvantage to get that takedown there uh, and try to shut down that bow gadget earlier? We're going to see a super. We should connect with that. Yeah, we are, um, which is a good start for them. Uh, before Esports definitely need to not underestimate uh, the effectiveness of that bow gadget, in my opinion. It seems like they finally have been able to deal with that bow super now, doing a little bit of mind sweeping out there on the right side. Adino clears that out. No kills for either team yet, though, and this is starting to look like a bit more of a typical bounty game setup where a, a little bit of a star advantage for uh, Red Cannons having grabbed the center control early on is being countered by a B4 Esports squad that is setting up and setting up strong. Robo Porter streaming out now from Adino and shoving Red Cannons back into the bushes. Can they keep the pressure up? I, I'm not really sure. Weagle seems so strong with Carl and Creed these game modes, but Beto has just been dominant on the left lane this game so far, and I think that B4 Esports have got the lead, but they need to finish it off with a kill at some point. This is the thing, exactly that, Woody. Before Esports have got uh, Red Cannons in a great spot, but are they able to finalize these kills? Because if um, you know Red Cannons can get some momentum to push back, then it avails to nothing. They've got to go in and 20 seconds oh! now on the clock. But a really important takedown for Red Cannons as Griegel rolls in, but not able to get a kill. We're just extending that lead then for Red Cannons with 10 seconds left. Parzival with the snipe is exactly what the doctor ordered for the Red Cannons. B4 Esports making a heroic attempt here. Beto charging in, firing off that pickaxe, but no kills yet. Rebuffed and forced back. Another kill for Adinho going down. Gives the Red Cannons a solid line of defense.